Jason Rhino with today's Trucking Magazine. Uh, one of the things about the trucking community is that it's got a big heart. We often hear stories, there's the highway heroes, they're saving lives, they're doing a lot of good things. Uh, and one of the most interesting things that, that we've come across lately is uh, the Trucks for Change Network. I'm here with, with uh, Pete Delmazzi, president of the Trucks for Change Network. Pete, can you tell me a little bit about uh, who you are and, and why you wanted to start this? Sure, Jason. Um, I was uh, many years within the industry uh, with Ryder mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, ran a very large company. I left in 2007. I was looking for something to do to give back mm -hmm. to the community, and, um, but I wanted to take advantage of the time I had spent in the industry. So uh, I attended a lot of uh, not-for-profit type conferences and ran into the same uh, problem with the nonprofit industry that they were trying to get transportation for their donated goods. Um, they do a great job of soliciting donations, but one of their biggest problems is getting them to where they need them. Um, so what I did was I approached a number of large carriers that I had relationships with through the Ontario Trucking Association and its president, David Bradley, and we uh, designed the what we now call the Trucks for Change Network. And basically what that is is an association of highway carriers that are community-minded and would like to give back by donating open capacity or excess space that they have in their trucks to major charities looking to move their donated goods. So can you tell me a little bit about how the program works? How, is, is it easy and, and, and what are the benefits for a carrier to get involved? Sure. Well, as you mentioned earlier in the interview, um, the truckers, what I found very early in the program is that the trucking community is already very charitable. So uh, donating space and, and truckload freight movement to charity is nothing new to these guys in our trucking community. What's new about it is that we're actually doing it in an efficient way and using open capacity and open space to do that. And we're doing that through technology, which means that we have a computer program that allows us to match the needs of the charities and where they need to move their donated goods with the open uh, freight capacity of our carriers. So essentially they get to do what they're already doing, but they get to do it a little more efficiently. And they get to do it in a way, more importantly, that we can add up and promote on behalf of our industry uh, for what we're doing to give back to our community. Okay. So, what are the next steps for Truck for Trucks for Change? What, where do you have to go? What are, what are you looking for next? Well, we're looking for more members, more carrier members who want to give back to our communities, want to do it efficiently, and want to do it in a way that can count for our industry in terms of what our industry is giving back. And finally, number two is we're, we will be looking for corporate sponsors, suppliers to the industry who would like to be associated with this project and put their name and make a contribution that the industry is making to give back. Great. Well, there you have it. Trucks for Change Network. Uh, today's trucking fully supports uh, Trucks for Change. Uh, get out there, check them out, help some people. Uh, it's a good cause.